The year is 2007. I'm at Browley in our caravan by the beach with the kids on holidays. I hear the news, just snippets here and there. The ACT Police Commissioner Audrey Fagan had taken her own life. How had she gotten to a point where she felt that this was her only option? Did she reach out? Did anyone know she was in that place? Holy crap, I need help. And fast. I spoke to my husband on the phone. He finally understood. Do what you need to do. I've had depression on and off for over 25 years. It had become who I was. I'd accepted this was how it was going to be for the rest of my life. Although I didn't know Audrey, her passing was to change the course of my life. Her death was my wake-up call. I want more from this life. I'm not done yet. Within a week I was at a health retreat in Queensland, where I stayed for ten nurturing days. I came away from there a new person. I felt different. I looked different. I was different. The turning point was the realisation that my depression was my addiction. It was where I went to escape from the world. And just like any addict, the pull to go to that place will always be there. To cope I slept. As a kid I slept. As an adult I slept. With the covers over my head, I didn't have to deal with the world or anyone in it. If I wasn't sleeping, I went into fits of rage, anger and despair. The triggers were all around. Every day, everywhere, a sideward glance, anyone, anything. Six weeks on from my holy crap moment, I face my emotions. I evaluate at every moment where I am. I seek help when I need it. I try to learn from every experience. I'm wide awake. I have purpose. I talk to everyone about my journey and help educate the community about mental illness. I manage my addiction with self-love and awareness. It is now a friend that teaches me and drives me to be a better me. But most of all, I have a family who love and support me every day and give me the room to be me, to spread my wings and be who I am. I am mind, body and spirit.